Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. I uh, just want to make a quick video. Um, uh, hope you're okay today. Um, but uh, I just want to share something um, with you, uh, my dear atheist friends. Uh, and that is this. Some of you have, have said uh, about John MacArthur, uh, who's a pastor in America and is a Bible teacher and a preacher. I've known his teaching for about 15 years. And to me, he is a true Christian and I, I really respect him. And uh, another person that I really, really respect is. Um, I can pronounce his name right. I do get. I've got to get uh, names right. Uh, who recently I've come to know is uh, Dr. Jonathan uh, Sarfati, um, who's a, a creationist. Um, let me just tell you something. John MacArthur. Okay. Bible believing evangelical John Piper Bible believing evangelical R.C. Sproul Dr. R.C. Sproul or Sproul <laughs> right Dr. Al Muller Dr. Don Carson just take the, type these names in the people at Gospel Coalition alright These are God's people, and I will stand by them, and I'll stand by anybody who preaches the gospel, atheist, but I will. So you can say, well, you've been hoodwinked by John MacArthur, you've been hoodwinked by these people. Listen, these people are true, true people. They are true servants of God, okay? If I was in America and John MacArthur asked me to go to preach with him to some Arab Muslim country and I went with him and we were preaching in in the city square and a riot broke out and the riot grabbed John MacArthur and they were going to pour petrol over him and set him alight. Alright. I would, without even blinking an eye, go with him. And I would go down with him. And we would burn together. Alright. That's how committed I am to Jesus and committed to my brothers and sisters in Christ whether it be shock of God whether it be um, Creation International whether it be John MacArthur at Grace to You whether it be Southern Baptist Theological Seminary whether it be Covenant Theological Seminary whether it be Reformed Theological Seminary whether it be Westminster Theological Seminary whether it be London Theological Seminary whether it be the Tabernacle in London with Dr. Masters Whoever you are, wherever you are, if you are proclaiming Jesus Christ, you are my brother and sister, and I will stand with you, and we will fight and serve the Lord together. Atheist, listen to me. This is the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. He is the truth, atheist. I don't want to bash you. I don't want to attack you. I just want to tell you this. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. And there's... N there's... there's Jesus, it's Jesus my dear friend, it's Jesus, come to Jesus, 
find Jesus all the hang ups that you've got about religion are hang ups about religion they're not hang ups about Christ come to him taste and see that the Lord is good there's nobody in history can match him there is nobody in history that can come close to Jesus nobody nobody not Nietzsche not Marx not Bertrand Russell not Sam Harris not Hitchens nobody can come close to Jesus nobody is even close to the master nobody is even close to the Lord <coughs> our Christ and God nobody comes close to him atheist he is above all history he is above all philosophers he is above all thinkers he is above all scientists he is above it all he is the glorious Jesus Christ atheist and one day you and I will have to do with him at the end of time he will come back at the end of time every knee shall bow and have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord every atheist will have to bow the knee to Jesus Christ and admit that he is Lord you will do it you will be made to do it you will be made to bow your knee before Jesus Christ and confess him as Lord and if you've not trusted him you will be his enemy forever but if you have trusted him you will be his child forever but know this that he is the sovereign of all history the sovereign of the universe the sovereign of all things and he is the one that you need to have to do with atheists there is nobody like you there's nobody like you so when you've got a saviour like that atheist and a lord such as great great as that then I'm afraid that your little movement and I know you don't like it to be called a movement for you regard yourselves as free thinking individuals I understand that but your little movements nothing compared to the majesty of Christ and if you think that you can destroy Christianity in the West you're completely and utterly deluded because you're not on the throne of history <laughs> Jesus is on the throne of history atheist Dawkins isn't on the throne of history. Jesus is on the throne of history. All right. He is the one with all power. He is the one that is gloriously shines above all things. So what I'm saying, atheist, this Lord and Savior is worth dying for. He's worth laying your life down for. He's worth giving everything for. Because he gave everything for us. And I'm going for this Lord, atheist. I'm going for my saviour, atheist. I'm going for Jesus, atheist. And I'm standing with my brothers and sisters. So if any atheist, dear atheist, says, Jay, You've been hoodwinked by John MacArthur. Jay, why are you standing with them? Come and stand with us. No! Never! I'll stand with my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'll stand with my Lord. Jesus Christ, my King. And I'll preach this word. Where is the word of God, atheist? It is the mighty word of God. It proclaims Christ. The prophecies of Christ, his virgin birth was prophesied. Oh, don't get onto the Hebrew there, because you'll get panned if you do. The prophecies of Christ in the Old Testament, proclaiming him. 
the majesty of the life of Christ in the Gospels. The glorious Apostle Paul, as he preached the Gospel and was was persecuted here, there, and everywhere, but he proclaimed the Gospel. A small minority of individuals who had no resources changed the whole ancient world. Why? Because Christ died and he rose and he ascended into heaven. And he changed men and women and he revolutionized people's lives. He gave slaves a new hope, a new vision, a new life. He made masters become loving. He purified the ancient world from sexual immorality. His name was is Jesus, the Lord of Lords, atheist. And you want me to stand with you? You're deluded. You want me to stand and believe in your fairy tale evolution? And turn away from this beautiful book that teaches me love? That teaches me love? 1 Corinthians chapter 13 You want me to follow your moronic banging on about Leviticus because you don't even understand the Old Testament? You want me to follow that? You want me to follow your hate mongering when I can follow my Lord who washed his disciples feet? And you want me to follow your atheism? You're deluded. You want me to follow Dawkins and Aronma? A thunderfoot. But you're telling me you don't have to follow them. You're a free thinker. You can think. When really you're all like sheep following these famous atheists around. When I can look at my Lord who died at Calvary for me. Did any of these atheist, famous atheists die for me? Christ died for me. You want me to give up all that? And leave my Lord and the Word of God? And follow a, a belief where there is no hope for the future? Where you're just a little speck of dust on the edge of the universe? But where this book tells me that each person is the apple of God's eye? And you want me to follow atheism? You want me to follow atheism when my, my Lord called ordinary people and used ordinary people? And raises up ordinary people. You want me to leave this that helps me to think about history. To think about science. To think about philosophy. And you want me to leave this. This book that helps me to think. You want me to leave this. That inspired the martyrs. Inspired Latimer and Ridley. And William Tyndale to die for their faith. And you want me to give up this. You want me to give up this that teaches we preach Christ crucified? The only way into heaven, the only hope for humanity. You want me to give this up? Atheist, you are most deluded, dear folks. For this is the truth. And I will stand with it to my dying day. And I know a hundred percent, after two years of listening to you, dear atheist, I know that there is absolutely nothing in atheism. But dear atheist, come to Christ. Come to the word of God. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father but through me, says Jesus. Come to me, all you are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Rest, atheist, upon Christ. Put your burden upon him. Lean upon him. It's not evidence you need. It's repentance. You need to repent and turn away from your sin. And turn to the living Christ and trust in him. Pack in your delusions and come to reality. Because this is reality. 
God bless you, atheist. Love you all. Take care.